green spaces are essential to our mental and physical well-being, but for a group of amateur athletes in Queens, enjoying their neighborhood park has its obstacles. And they're trying to do something about it. CBS 2's Elle McLogan covers the borough and takes us to Flushing. For a group of seniors who gather daily at Casino Park, bocce is a lifestyle. Why do you love the sport? Oh, because that is nice exercise. <laughs> you bending, you you moving. Many nationalities are represented here, and age is no barrier. How old are you? Oh, 93. There's a lot of yelling in, but it's all in fun. And, it, you know, after the game is over, win or lose, it's forgotten about. But amid cheers and laughter, one subject elicits groans. The court itself. Dilapidated. The players say they've been asking the city for years to upgrade their decades-old court with its cracking wood, warped storage box, and water fountain that runs dry. We need lighting. We don't even have a bathroom. When we reached out for comment, city parks told us they have fixed things up recently and will enlist volunteers for a spring repainting. All they're doing is um, putting a Band-Aid on. The bocce players want to know why are some neighborhood parks well-maintained while others go neglected? Advocates say there simply aren't enough resources to go around. The parks agency has been underfunded for 40 years. Adam Ganser with New Yorkers for Parks says that while conservancies help fund some, the vast majority of parks don't benefit from private money. Right now the mayor is proposing 15% uh, cuts to the parks department. That type of cut to the agency would be devastating. As chair of the parks committee, council member Shaker Krishnan wants to see the mayor make good on his campaign promise to devote 1% of the city budget to parks. That's not anything radical or extraordinary that is just making sure that New York City gives the same amount of resources to parks as other major cities across the country. Back at Casino Park, the bocce players are holding out hope. We cherish this place. It's just a, a great place to play, and if we can get it fixed up a little bit and make it nicer, it's going to be wonderful. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. Elle is our community reporter covering Queens. If you have a story idea for her, you can email queenstip at cbs.com. So nice to see. So even though the court is in that state of disrepair, it's nice to see so many people out there. Absolutely. On a daily, on a daily basis. So fix it. I know. <laughs> That's what they want. Right. We'll see. Maybe uh, Elle will be doing a follow-up. Right, Craig so. Allen. She's here with the forecast. Hi, Craig. <laughs> I'm saying right now, Dave, you've got to be mayor. <laughs> That's, oh, mayor. That's the okay. way to do it. Just say, fix it, and it gets done. I would like that, huh?